What's up YouTube? This is Demkeys back again with another Unity tutorial and today I'm going to teach you about Vector3.angle. Vector3.angle is a method that takes in two parameters from which is a Vector3 and to which is again a Vector3 and returns the angle between from and to. Now you must be thinking if you are going to actually find out the angle then you need three points not just two. Well the third point is actually the dead center of world space. That would be 0 on x, 0 on y and 0 on z. The angle return is always the smaller of the two possible angles between them and never greater than 180 degrees. Now what this means is, alright let's take a look at this circle for example. This is a whole circle and say you want to remove 90 degrees from it. It's a whole circle so it's 360 degrees. Say you want to remove 90 degrees from it. So at this point you don't have a whole circle. What you have is two pieces. One is 90 degrees and one is 270. So there are two ways to look at the angle. Either you can look at it as a 90 degree angle or you can look at it as a 270 degree angle. What unity is going to do is it's going to pick whichever is the smallest result after comparing the two and of course whichever is below 180. You'll understand what I mean as we go along. Alright so what we have in the scene is two cubes and a sphere. Ignore the sphere I just placed it there to show you what the... Uh, sorry about that. Alright so ignore the sphere I placed it over there just to show you exactly what uh, is considered as center in world space. So I've set its position to 0 on x, 0 on y and 0 on z. Alright now the first thing we are going to do is select this cube and add a new script to it. I'll call this script angle O2. Alright so the first thing you need to do is create a transform call it target well just just target is fine next create a float call this angle this is going to show us exactly what the angle is and next hmm next next would be yeah angle equals vector 3 dot angle now the from parameter should be transform.position and two parameters should be target.position. Now let's set the target variable. I'm going to choose cube target. Just so you know cube target is this cube. So I'm sure you might be able to see it by now. If you start zero, if you start counting from zero over here, uh, sorry, if you start measuring from zero over here and use this as the middle point, then this would actually be 90 degrees. So let's run the game and see what result we get. There. It says 90. Maybe I should change the camera angle so you can see. More clearly. And change this to black. Perfect. Also I'm going to go back in the script and make a small change debug.log angle. So this is going to display at all times whatever the value of angle is. So you can see it in the console window.
All right, now let's run the game. I'll bring this game tab here. And now let's start changing the angles. All right, so currently it is at a 90 degree angle. Say I bring this a little this side the angle changes and so you can see the difference here I want to keep it more uniform so I'm just gonna change positive 2 to negative 2 and so you can see it's not exactly 180 but yeah it's really really close to 180 now if I move from here it's actually going back it's not increasing and if I move back from here again it's going back it's not increasing so this is what I meant when I said it's not going to go above 180 you can also test test this out with the various different positions and you'll get many different results always remember zero 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 would be considered as uh, the third point when the angle is being calculated no matter where from is or to is zero 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 is always going to be the third point let's change this back to what it was I think it was yeah now I'm going to change this to 6 and even the Y value notice the angle still remains the same I'm even going to change this to negative 6 and yeah notice the angle still remains the same you, you can place the objects as far as you want from the center but the angle is still going to be calculated properly. So this is how you use Vector3.angle. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Do check out these other videos as well. The video on the top left teaches you how to use the line renderer. The video on the top right teaches you how to use lens flares. And on the bottom left is the playlist for the Unity 4.6 UI Tools series. I'm also accepting donations, so if you would like to help me out, you can send your donations to my PayPal email address which is mentioned on the screen and in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Is he quo? Is he fame? Is he even still the same? Claiming Lord's boys but we never seen him main. I don't cover now on album when he get the chance to hang like, damn, 1 three, 4 Niggas acting like I never been through them doors Moved uptown and I rocked a little red Niggas asking if I'm raw cause I'm out in Hempstead Like, shit, who are you? Entourage member or part of the crew? EMG